Hello, my name is Eleanor Breen and I direct the archaeology program here at Mount Vernon. In 1786, there's a large census of the enslaved people living at Mount Vernon Plantation. 67 enslaved people lived at Mansion House Farm. These are the craftsmen and women, the tradesmen and women, and the people assigned to duties inside the house. They lived in close proximity to the Washington household. In 1799, the census is retaken, and by that point, 96 enslaved people are living here at Mansion House Farm. Where did these people live? Well, we think that approximately 60 of them lived in the greenhouse slave quarter complex, and we're standing inside one of those rooms right now. There are two wings on either side of the greenhouse completed in 1793. Uh, those wings are divided up into four rooms according to George Washington's plans. Each room had a single fireplace and a single door and it probably was divided up by male and female. The enslaved men who were living in these rooms were single, some of them, and others had formed uh, unions with women and families living on outlying farms and perhaps could have had a chance to visit them on their single day off on Sundays during the week.